Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel. This is Nina from the Forgotten Bookshop Girl. At first of all I wanted to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and hello uh, to everybody who's already su subscribed to my channel. So it's lovely to see you back here. So today I'm going to uh, do a little tutorial about how to make a little notebook from a postcard. So this is the finished little notebook and um, so basically uh, I'm trying to use up lots of stash I've got. These are all mainly all off cuts so I set myself a little bit of a challenge of using things I've got and use them up and um, I was thinking about making a tiny little notebook out of a postcard. This is not actually a postcard, but it's postcard sized. This is um, just got kind of like, in, like a big business card somebody put through uh, the letter box. And uh, I just thought this would make a really lovely tiny little notebook. So that's what we're going to do today. So what you will need, either um, start off with a postcard or um, a card stock that is roughly the size of a postcard, but it really can go with any size you like because the technique and the way of doing it is going to be the same. But just to give you an idea of what you could do with something like that instead of chucking it in the rubbish. Um, then I'm going to use a craft knife, my cutting mat and ruler, but you can obviously use a pair of scissors. I'll probably need my uh, a pencil and some glue. I'll probably go for PVA glue, but I quite like to use just ordinary glue sticks. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Okay, um, let's just have a quick look at the kinds of paper I'm going to use. Uh, this is an offcut of um, a printed, a kind of like a, a some tracing paper. Um, now this is just scrapbook paper, envelopes. Um, you yeah, have several offcuts, bits of. Um, yeah, I think it was a note paper and a bit of a map, sheet music. But as you can see, they've they've all come from different projects. have been left over from other projects. Um, yeah, this is just kind of like a printer paper, but a lavender color and just a more map. This is a coffee dyed um, part of an envelope. This is uh, it's not craft paper, but packing paper. More book pages and tea dyed pages, but they're all off cuts. Then this is a uh, scrapbook paper that I meant to use in a different project. Then more off cuts from children's books, um, bits from magazines and catalogues. Um, this is a test print. I've been, um, I'm redoing my studio at the moment, and so I've been using a um, pattern roller for one, probably just one wall. I'm not quite sure if I want all of the walls with a, a pattern, but um, I just tested it to just see if I had it the right way around because obviously I didn't want the bird upside down. And this pattern is from the painted house and they've got absolutely gorgeous pattern rollers so I'll put a link to them below and and then I've got this and I think I would quite like this image to be on uh, the outside of my um, notebook so as the notebook cover so um, I'm, I'm still quite a debate. I, I like the heart, but I really, really like the rabbit as well. But because of the size, I, I can't 
get both in so I might have to kind of go for something where I've got both in kind of a little bit so we've got the rabbit just peeking out and then we've got the heart unless unless what I could do go kind of move the card down here and then I could cut out the heart and just stick it on the front kind of like there and then I would have the bird and I would definitely have the rabbit in there so that's something else I have to work out anyway on the other side so for the inside I'm going to use um, this envelope because I just like the idea of having um, using just kind of like craft paper on the inside so maybe I could just get started with this okay so I'm going for the glue stick because I just thought um, the PVA glue would probably take too long to dry okay so all I'm doing is um, I just yeah, basically I'm just covering the whole area with glue and then I'm making sure that it's just really covered and also goes around the edges there you go sometimes if you kind of like if you're not quite sure you can hold it against the light and then you will ah like there you will notice a little bits that you might have missed okay oops now I'm just going to place this and here there you go I do that a lot that just kind of just glue it onto a surface let me just grab this oops and then um, I'm going to cut yeah, once it's dry I'm just going to cut around the the edge now I know what I meant to do because I thought while I'm waiting for the cover to dry I could start cutting the inside pages I wanted to create a template so I know how big they are because that would have been easier it's quite good to do the cover first and then while you're waiting for the glue to dry then you can you know in the meantime you can cut your pages so either create a template so you know how big the pages need to be or because I haven't done that I just need to kind of measure them uh, it's about uh, 14 14.7 or 8 I better write this down 14 point but if I went for 14.5 and uh, then it's about 10.5 10.5 okay sorry I, I don't work in in inches but as your postcard might have a different size you know that wouldn't be helpful for you anyway okay, okay so I've got it already I've got the inside now I'm going to do the outside um, don't know if you can hear that but it looks like all my neighbors are trying to put the houses through the paper shredder so if it gets too noisy I might have to close the window so we'll see okay Okay, I'm, I'm kind of using uh, the edge of the paper as a guide to make sure that it's kind of straight and now I'm just drawing a line so I know where I need to cut it. I'm going to leave this part on the paper because I thought I might use that to make a little pocket in the front. What I need to do is cut along this line. Okay, here we go. I actually 
be cut off a little bit more um, just in case. Let's have a look. Kind of where we can have a quick look of what it might look like. Cut a little bit off on this side. Okay, so I've got the cover cut. Um, I just need to add some glue to this side. You could also use um, the wrapping paper as the cover for uh, your little notebook. Well, that would be a really nice way of using up um, or recycling some paper. Right, there we go. Okay. Uh, I do it this way. Round, and then I'm just kind of lining it all up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stick this under some um, heavy books to dry and then in the meantime I'm going to start cutting the pages. Okay, I said I would uh, maybe create a template but I found a postcard that is exactly the same size. So I'm going to use this as a reference and now I'm just going um, to choose and fold the pages. Okay, so here we go, it's even Better. I was going to add this piece of paper as one of the pages and it's a tiny bit um, shorter than um, my postcard or actually the notebook so that would be absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do is then use this as my go-to size and then I've got the first page already because it also means I can fold it. See it? It's going to be a tiny little notebook but perfect just to keep in your in your bag and make some some notes. But that, that is great. Okay, I'll have a look and choose some pages now. Okay, so I've made a small selection of papers. I would like to go into the notebook. I definitely want to use this one because this was one of the first bits of paper I collected when I was thinking about creating this notebook. Um, and the colour scheme, I'm kind of inspired obviously by the, the cover because it's got green in there and because we are nearing sort of autumn I thought it would be nice to have some browns in there and slightly go with autumn colours. So anyway, what I'm going to do now um, so if this is my template and then I'm just going to go through all of these papers and um, fold them and cut them to size. With this one I might actually create a, sort of a fold out. Um, I don't really think you want to watch me cutting and folding all of these. So I'm, I'm going to edit this out, but I might also speed it up a little bit. So we'll see, you, you'll probably see a little bit of, of both. Okay. I've got quite a few bits of paper cut. So the next thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to fold them in half and then stack them together because they go, if you, if you haven't made any notebooks before and this is how we're doing it, we are creating what is called like one signature and it's just basically just stacking one page into the other. So I'll just quickly fold them all in half. As you can see this 
page is quite long so if I'm going to fold it in half like that it would stick out but I'm going to make a little fold out here so once it's in the book I'm just going to I could actually do it now I'm just fold the page in so it doesn't stick out anymore but when I'm writing I can fold it out and I've got more paper let's do it on the other side as well there we go and with this one I chose that because I just like really like uh, all the colors on this uh, image but the other side looks a bit boring so um, I can either just uh, use this to put photographs on or what I might do I might just cover it with uh, some paper so I guess of like um, uh, like this tea dyed paper I just cover it up glue it on and then uh, it would it's going to be a little bit thicker but that's okay and then I can write on on the other side so I might actually do that okay here we go so I covered it actually with uh, another envelope so this one is ready I should probably wait for it to dry before I fold it so I'll put this to one side for now but I've got all the other pages them all together and right now I'm not really worried about what order I'm putting them in because right now I just want to see uh, how many pages I've got and if I might think that I need more or maybe less many pages Oop. and as you can see the more pages you stick inside they start sticking out that's because we are only using one signature and um, kind of like the spine is getting thicker and that's pushing the inside pages out but that's not a problem so once we've decided on where we want the pages to be uh, we can and where we want them to be we can just um, cut off any paper that is sticking out okay there we go um, I quite like to whenever I use um, kind of this sort of um, tracing paper or vellum I quite like even though I like to have it also in the middle uh, in general I like to have when I open my notebook I quite like to have something that is colorful uh, right at the front rather than just um, kind of like a, a plain piece of paper so I quite like that so I might actually have this uh, at the front I'm quite happy with the number of pages uh, I don't think I need to add uh, any more because otherwise um, it will just probably get a bit too thick and also I would have to cut too much of the pages in the middle so now I'm going to sort the pages in the order that I want them in it is uh, kind of difficult to explain because there isn't really kind of like a right or wrong it's for me it's I'm kind of going through through them and see what page I feel looks good after the next it could be the colors or just the textures or just a general feel that I think oh I want this to go next and then the other one to go next and you can check it by kind of just you know going through it and having um, you know having a look also you might not want to um, have like similar pages next to each other so if I had like two bits of uh, sheet music I might not want two of them right next to each other obviously if you're just using plain paper then you know you don't have to think about it you just uh, put them together and you're ready to go okay so I'll have a little play with the pages and then I'll go and get the cover and see how that's doing Okay, so I've sorted through all the pages and I'm happy with the order they come in. But first of all, uh, we've got the cover. I would, it's still not 100%, normally I would really wait until it's really dry. 
but I want to just carry on with this tutorial. So you remember I left this uh, extra bit and so I'm just going to fold it over because I thought we could make a little pocket here. I did while I was cutting it, I did tear a little bit there but that's okay because I think I'm going to cut a slice off there so I'll do that quickly now and then I can fold it over and then I'm going to just glue both ends um, onto the cardboard I don't want to get glue on the cutting mat so there. Okay, what I sometimes do to just keep that in place, I sometimes put uh, kind of paper clips on there as well. Make sure that they stick together while they're drying. And the next thing I'm going to do is I need to fold it in half. Uh, I'm going to use the bone folder for this. And so I just need to work out the middle. I always make three marks because then um, you're most likely to have uh, to get a good um, straight line. Okay, I just line up the three dots. I'm also using the grid on my cutting mat to make sure that everything is straight. Using the bone for you might have a scoring board, so. <clears throat> Uh, you know, obviously feel free to use that. I definitely, I need to get one. But in the meantime, I'm doing this. Okay, I'm always worried that I didn't really manage to get kind of the middle, and it doesn't really matter if it's slightly off. But okay, and then I usually use my ruler to just help me. Fold that and then try to gently do that. Wow, that worked. Okay, so we've got our little notebook cover. Doesn't that look cute? Uh, let's have a look. What these would look inside. Isn't that super cute? Really like it. Okay, but as you can see, obviously we need to cut um, cut some of the pages just to make sure that they all fit in nicely. So that's what I'm going to do next. All right, let's cut those pages. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure that they're all stacked neatly together. So I'm going to just have a look. I'm going to try and make sure that they're kind of neatly stacked inside the cover and then I'm using a pencil just to make a little mark on this page. And then I'm going to use one of these, I think they're called bulldog clips, but you could use um, Close pegs as well, so something that will keep them together really nicely. Because what I want to do is cut the pages. Okay, trying to make sure that they're straight. Also, ah, important. Do you remember that we have um, foldouts in there? So we have to make sure that none of the foldouts are kind of sticking out, or I'll be cutting off the fold out bit. There's one in the middle. Um, 
Yeah, that could be a problem. What I very often do is uh, leave the fold out pages outside and then fold them once I've got all the other pages done because then I can decide how uh, far I need to fold them in. So let me just. Okay, I'll just fold this up in a bit more. Like that. And I'm just using a knife. I'm just very gently cutting along the edge of my ruler. Actually, sometimes I have to say I'm cutting the pages individually because if I because some of them are kind of a different have a different thickness. Uh, that, that occasionally they tear. So yeah, actually, what I normally do is just do them one by one. But of course you can do them all together. And I think that looks okay. Let's double check. Yeah, they're fine. They're sticking out kind of a tiny little bit. But I don't think that is a that is a big problem. Okay, now I've got two ways of um, kind of binding it, even though the first one isn't really binding, but it's a really quick way of creating a notebook if, you, um, if you're not bothered about sort of binding it with a needle and thread. Um, you just need to find the middle. There we go. So all you need is an elastic band. And then what you do is you just slide it into the middle and then it's there at the back of the spine and you're ready to go and you've got your little notebook all set up okay but I might uh, I might actually bind this one so what do you need to do next also oh yeah I added some washi tape at the top uh, because of that looked quite nice and also to kind of like strengthen this bit there. The other thing I'm going to quickly do because I thought it would be nice to have a little pocket at the back. So I'm going to use this little window and I'm just going to cut some of this envelope window so you've got something where you could stick little tickets in there. So I'll just cut this quickly. Okay. So I've got the little pocket that can go in here. I'm going to glue this in. Um, I did it because I want to put some washi tape there as well. So if I had it about here. There we go, just make a decision. Okay, and then it's not quite, it's not quite straight, but let's just go with that. Where's my washi? Okay, so I'll go along here, there. There we go. So now I've got a little pocket at the back. Okay, so that's something you could do as well. Okay, do. So let's stack all the pages. 
in here. Uh, okay, so I've got my clothes pegs. So what I'm going to do is I'm making sure again that the pages are sitting all neatly in kind of this groove or in the spine. And then I'm just putting a couple of um, clothes pegs in there to just hold them all together. And uh, now I'm going to use uh, an awl and a, uh, a needle. There we go. It's kind of, I think that's a darning needle or tapestry needle, so it's not really a book binding needle. And I've got some embroidery floss and I thought that looked really nice with the green. So yeah and it's it's a mess so i try to not not create even more knots here okay so it's easy what i do is go kind of like twice the length of the little book and then i just tend to just give a little bit extra. Okay, and then I'm just going to use hang on, some of the strands I'm not going. So I'm just going for half, so I've got about three. There we go. And what did I do with the needle here? It's here. Okay, ready. Okay, dear. Yeah, that's uh, our neighbour's dog. Right. Um, you could. Oops, sorry. Okay, you can use uh, a thumbtack for this, as long as your booklet isn't too thick. But this should work. And I find the yellow pages work really well because then you can stick your little uh, the spine of your booklet right into the groove. And I'm going to go for three holes and uh, you can measure it but I'll just go for one kind of in the middle I think yeah that looks okay and I'll go all the way through and then kind of like is that an inch like a centimeter and a half roughly away well, I could maybe go a little bit back, maybe kind of like here. Would that be a centimetre? Right from the top. And then, oops, it's all stuck now. And then the same at the bottom, about kind of like a centimetre. Through. And then it's important to make sure that, you know, you went right through. Watch your fingers while you're doing it. Okay, so that's done. And then I'm going to get my needle. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have two options. Either you can have the um, little bits of thread and the knot on the outside or on the inside. I think. What shall we do with this one? Shall we have it on the outside? So I'm starting on the outside. I'm going through the middle hole. I'm going all the way in. I'm pulling my thread through. Well, not all the way through, but just so that I've got about this much hanging out. Then I can go either to the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. So let's go to the top and pull this through. Make sure that you don't pull the whole um, thread through, just hold on to the end but make sure that it's sitting, um, that the thread isn't loose. And then go back down, back through the middle hole, back inside. There we go. Then I'm pulling it out again. And I go into the bottom hole there, see my thread is really long. 
So but I'd rather have it a little bit longer than too short. At this stage I can take these out and then just loop it underneath underneath the thread here and then uh, just make sure that it's sitting really tight so pull a little bit and all you need to do is tie a double knot and there you go and then you can trim the thread that's how it, I quite like it when it's a bit longer so let's do this because with the green I think it looks really nice with the rest of the booklet and so here we go we've got our little booklet made from a postcard well, let's have a look inside we've got our little have a little pocket. Do you have anything I could stick in there for now? No, let's just this so I could stick something in there, and then I've got all the little pages in here. I've got the fold out and the sheet music. I've got the bird. I left in here, I left sort of quite a lot of pages for writing on and then, yeah, I thought the purple went quite well with the pattern on the purple here and I can still write on the back and then we've got this fold out in the middle and then here all the other pages Yeah, this fold out and map and then at the end we've got uh, the other little pocket uh, we can uh, stick little tickets or something in there there we go what you can do um, to make it kind of flatter and not stick out like that you can just stick it under a heavy book or what you could do you could just put an elastic around there kind of like either way you could also do that just to that looks really nice don't you think just to keep it closed and there we are booklet done so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial I uh, why don't you give this a go and in case you've made any of these little booklets please please let me know Please tag me on a social media, you find all the links below. Uh, and also, if you like the video, it would be great if you could give me a thumbs up for it. I would really appreciate it. If you uh, like this tutorial, if you like my videos, you know, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe. And um, if you want to be notified immediately whenever I put a new video out, just click the little bell icon because that means that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Right, I'm wishing you all a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye!